All right, Mr. and Mrs. Atheist, let me just tell you, I'm in a dialogue with, uh, with, uh, with, let's just say it's a business partner out in Michigan. Yeah, business partner, I don't know, maybe, maybe a partner of mine out in Michigan. I've been in dialogue with this person for a while now, and she's kind of cool, you know, she start, she's, she started out as an atheist, maybe she's still an atheist, but you know, she's from Michigan, so she's kind of a cow tipping hillbilly, you know, what'd you do last weekend? Tipped cows, drank moonshine, you know, that sort of shit, you know, wondered where I was going to get the money to replace my wooden teeth. That She's a bit of that, you know, she's a bit of a backwater hillbilly, but she's cool. She's a smart person. Now, here's the thing that I, I noticed when I was in conversation with her, okay, and, I, and this, you tell me, Mr. and Mrs. Atheist, because you debate Christians all the time, and one of the things I started to notice, this girl is now, I, I've sort of given my my power and influence over this person i have convinced her to move from probably not a god to could be maybe that's about the best that an apologist is going to get uh if you're a christian apologist and you're listening to this you know calm down <laughs> set your sights set your bar lower in terms of what you can accomplish in one conversation with one person you can plant seeds period plant seeds period you can move somebody possibly at the absolute best case scenario, you being as fully convincing as you're able to be, could move somebody from no, can't be, to eh, maybe I'll consider it. That's it. That's especially a, like a fully, you know, a full on non-believing atheist motherfucker. You aren't going to move them to anything other than eh, it's, it's slightly possible. That's the best that you could possibly hope for in a debate. So if you're shooting for anything other than that, you, you just get a hold of yourself and bring it down to earth. Bring it down to earth. You cannot move somebody from there's no way that God is real or there's no way I demand evidence to, to anything other than, okay, well, you know, he's not completely full of shit. That's the best that you could possibly hope for. That's the only thing I aim for. Well, he do, this guy doesn't seem like he's completely full of shit. That's it. That's my goal. As ambitious as that sounds, that's my goal. To get the atheists to go, okay, well, that guy doesn't sound like he's completely full of shit. Now, let's analyze atheists. I want you to listen very carefully to me because this occurred to me. This is why you, you cremate all the other Christians in your debates with them. Because for the most part, they are being completely full of shit. And you recognize that, but you don't understand how. Well, let me explain how. They are presenting... They are presenting, they are making a presentation of arguments about God that is far removed from their own internal organic experience of that God. Wrap your brain around that. I'll let you think about that for a second. But I promise you that's the truth. That's why they are so unconvincing. Because they are trying to convince themselves at the same time they are trying to convince you. They don't really have very strong faith. They don't. It's why they're so powerfully unconvincing, because their faith isn't really that strong. A, a, a very, very famous, not famous in any meaningful way, but famous Twitter Christian said these exact words to me. I was a little bit of, a scared to debate Aaron Ra because I was afraid that he could pull me from my faith into atheism. I was like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? You're like, you know, Mr. or Mrs. I don't remember if it was a boy or a girl. Mr. or Mrs. Christian, you know, Christian apologist. And yet you could be pulled from your supposedly rock solid faith by, you know, a fucking YouTube atheist. Something is amiss. This is why the Christians are so unconvincing, because they themselves are not convinced. You have this one girl, Sandra, uh, who's an atheist now, started out. Being a Christian on Twitter and, you know, she showed up with all these apologetics and they were terrible. And the atheists started going, well, you don't know anything about science. And lo and behold, she didn't know anything about science. And, you know, next thing you know, now she's an atheist and she's a nice person. You know, I have no no objection to her at all. I'm just pointing out that most of the Christians you're dealing with aren't really these rock solid believers. OK, they're really not. The most of the Christians floating around in the Twitter don't really believe their beliefs all that strongly. And you owe it to yourself, atheist. You really honest to God owe it to yourself. So hear me clearly. You need to find 
the best people out there, not the stupid ones, not the flat earthers and not the fucking, you know, Noah's Ark Museum Christians who are completely ludicrous. Because that's not really doing you any good. You go debate them so you reinforce your sense of intellectual superiority. Well, that's a game and, the, and that's a joke. But the joke ultimately is on you. You owe it to yourself to find the most convincing arguments from the most convincing Christians on the planet before you decide. You owe yourself that. If you have any respect for yourself, if you have any respect for the truth, you owe it to yourself to stop debating people who you beat in debates easily. Ding, 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 because they don't really know what they're talking about. You need to go after the 100% most convincing Christians you can find, period. And then see if your atheism stands, the, stands up in the light of day. Let me just put it this way. I, put me in a room with Aaron Ra for five hours. I mean, I, I'm not going to walk away going, hmm, maybe God isn't real. If anything, he'll walk away going, holy shit, that guy's telling the fucking truth. Holy shit. I better get my act together. That's the only thing that could possibly happen or he'll get annoyed with me and, you know, say I'm lying, but no, I'm not and walk away. Don't trust that guy. He's weird. He's crazy. He's weird. He's crazy. That's the only other possibility, uh, possible outcome. That's it. You owe it to yourself to research for real. You say, I demand evidence. Demand, find the evidence. You do the, you do it for real. Commit yourself to finding out the truth. Period. Stop being easy on yourself and debating the Nimrods. Stop it altogether. Because the only thing you find when you debate a Nimrod is how intellectually superior you are. Good for you. You're the smartest atheist on planet Earth. You still don't know the truth. If you really want to find the truth, you really need to, you really need to investigate with, your, with, with, with the fullness of who you are. All right, Mr.